Good evening and welcome to Experience Bar where we're turning video games into cocktails. My name is Jack and I'll be your bartender for this evening as I show you how to make a semi-historically accurate cocktail based around Total War Three Kingdoms' greatest tyrant, the Dong Zhuo. Let's get started. Alright, so for this drink, you're going to get your shaker, or rather the glass half of your shaker, half filled with ice, and add one ounce of gin. I'm using Tanqueray here, but feel free to use whatever gin takes your fancy. Follow that up with one ounce of rice wine. Use Chinese rice wine if you can, otherwise known as Huangchu, and I apologize in advance for all of the mispronounced Chinese that I'm going to be using during this video. I'm going to follow that up with half an ounce of lychee liqueur and half an ounce of cherry brandy. You are going to Give it a good old stir. So quick interesting note about bar spoons. You'll note that most bar spoons have this kind of twisty bit, you know, twisty bits. Um, that's because good bartenders, real bartenders, people who do this as a job instead of a hobby, they can do this cool thing where they twist it around real fast and it's much better for your wrists apparently, but I can't do that. So uh, yeah, but that's why they've got the twist. And we are going to add our hawthorn strainer and strain it on into our vessel. There we go. And finally, take a little lychee on a stick and pop it in there nice and easy. There you have it. That is the Dong Zhuo. Cheers. Three Kingdoms period. Very interesting period of Chinese history, very short. Uh, in like relative to the rest of Chinese history, which is thousands and thousands and thousands of years. But it's had a huge impact on popular culture, mostly through the publishing of the f f historical fiction, we'll call it, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Um, that's a book that Total War Three Kingdoms also took a lot of its inspiration from. Uh, all of the characters and the events that you see in the book and in the game, they kind of happened and they did exist, but they've been exaggerated. So Cao Cao went from you know, a very good strategist to a mastermind genius. Uh, you've got Lu Bu, who went from a good warrior, like a good, like a powerful dude, to the greatest warrior that's ever existed. And then you have Dong Zhuo, who actually didn't seem to get the exaggeration treatment. If anything, he seems to be worse in real life than he is in the game. Here's an example, right? There are reports of Dong Zhuo taking political dissidents torturing them, cutting out their tongues so they wouldn't make as much noise while they were being tortured, dipping them in boiling oil, taking the remnants, squishing them up into a literal meatball, and then putting them on display for everyone to see. It's pretty fucked up on its own, but what's even worse is the fact that he did this during a dinner. So he had all of these guests around him, like, I imagine like just tr desperately trying to eat their canapes while there is a steaming pile of man in the middle of the room. Dong Zhuo, of course, was described as not being bothered at all. And that, by the way, is why we have a lychee in our drink, our little meatball. Um, the drink itself, I call it a semi-historically accurate cocktail because there are a few ingredients in here that would have been used uh, around the Three Kingdoms period. Um, the rice wine, the Chinese rice wine, Quang Chu, um, that actually started becoming popular in the Han Dynasty where the Three Kingdoms period takes place. Uh, you've also got the lychee liqueur and the cherry liqueur, or cherry brandy rather, uh, very familiar Chinese fruits, but semi-historically accurate because we've added a bit of gin just to round it out. The cherry brandy and the lychee end up being a little bit too sweet on their own, so the herbal the herbaceousness of the gin helps to draw that back a little bit. But overall, it's a slightly sweet, interesting drink, mostly from the yeast of the rice wine. Kind of, it doesn't taste like any other cocktail that I've made so far. I'm really a big fan of it, but that is the uh, Dong Zhuo. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourself as much as I have. Uh, give us a like and a subscribe, or comment down below if you've got a game that you want to see cocktailized. Uh, head over to our Patreon if you'd like to support the show directly. You do help a lot, so thank you in advance. And remember, we are producing new videos every two weeks, so keep an eye out for us in your notifications. I hope to see you then, but till then, cheers.